Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Today, we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 23, Season Finale, and now I no longer have any shows I can make videos of, but uh, we will figure something out here. So this episode was kind of confusing and not exactly the uh, season finale I was expecting. I mean, it was it was all right, but it, it was also a lot of talking, a lot of little bit of confusion here. Uh, and generally, uh, I don't really fully understand what is going on, so possibly needs to be rewatched. And if you're thinking, oh, thank God the season's over, the employees at MAP will finally get a break. No, 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 they have to, to do Chainsaw Man now. They, they are they are gung ho for a movie in season two of Chainsaw Man, so they they get no breaks, they get no rest. R.I.P. to the workers at Mappa. So let's start off here with a giant black hole uh, that is being generated here by Ghetto, um, and then we are having a conversation here between uh, her, whose name I don't remember, and Ghetto. Um, and they thought, said, I thought that when Toji Zenin died 12 years ago, you know, that was resolved as well. Um, talking about optimizing curse energy. Curse energy will be almost be monopolized by Japan, uh, basically, and using kind of humans as a source to power it. Uh, and she's like, that's not the ideal world I predicted with curse spirits. And essentially what she's doing right here, uh, blonde girls who name I am forgetting, because we've only this is like the third time we've seen her, <laughs> maybe second. Uh, she is trying to just delay, delay time. It's essentially delay it as much as possible. Uh, I think Ghetto catches on, or, or fake Ghetto catches on fairly quick um, about what is happening, uh, and yeah. So there should be a cursed spirit called Nahito, right? And then yeah, this is where Yuji was talking about how he absorbed him, and this is him releasing uh, Nahito's power. Uh, what I did not realize about the ultimate, um, the Uzumaki, is essentially you can only use that technique one time. So he was initially going to use it, got stopped before he actually fulfilled using it, and now this is him actually using it. So at this point, I believe Mahito is technically completely done. We are never going to see him again. Uh, he is used up and gone, and, and there's, there's nothing more uh, to that. Uh, so, apparently there's some barrier over the city, or possibly even Japan, and uh, Ghetto is releasing it, and there should be about 10,000 spirits coming their way. Uh, apparently he has also some sort of contingency plan. Uh, this, I think, is Fujiguro's mother. Uh, it said, I believe it said the name of her. Let's see if we can backtrack just a smidgen here if it actually says it. I think it does. Let me see here if I can find the exact... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it said Fujiguro. Um, he's then talking about creating people like uh, Yuji, who swallow cursed objects, and creating the cursed worms, because apparently he also helped somehow create Yuji. Not, not yet again. No, no idea how. I hope we get an explanation of that. At some point, he unties the knot in this thing, and they're like, there's some people who are unconscious due to his cursed energy, but because he's releasing this, like, giant barrier seal, um, or sorry, a thousand curses are going to come in their way, not ten thousand. Uh, this will wake some people up. So, um, yeah, Fujiguro's mom has woken up, so that's kind of neat. Um, so he's like, humans should start killing each other. Um, Arume uh, is no longer able to hold on to the technique because uh, they have been poisoned. Uh, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. Uh, I think it's a guy, but who the heck knows? Um, but yeah, Cho Chozo's gun, uh, blood is poison, so makes makes sense there. Um, talking about how, yup, you know, we're good, we can all attack him at the same time. He's already expired. Uh, let's see here. So, there's really nothing they can do at this point. So basically, you know, Gojo is sealed. You know, Itadori is not really in this episode a lot. I'll, I'll be honest with you, he's, he's, he's in it. Uh, very sparingly. He's talking to Sakuna, uh, and then we have Giant Black Hole. Um, apparently the government of Japan is fully aware of Cursed Spirits, and they're debating whether or not to tell people. And they're like, well, we gotta tell people now, because, you know, this in Shibuya, the entire city is gone. Um, 
people just, you know, it's showing people getting killed by cursed spirits. There's a giant worm killing some people right there. And you see this giant black hole covering the whole thing. And then we go to this little girl uh, who she looks like she's hungry. I don't know if she's homeless, what the situation is. She's in an empty convenience store eating food. Um, and then this cursed spirit is like, come here, you know, I, I got your teachers here, your mother, your father, your brother. And she's like, I don't, I don't have a brother and I don't like my teachers. Are you thirsty? Goes to bring them a drink. Um, and then boom, crazy cursed spirit and get stopped by who? None other than Utah. Now, if you have not watched Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, you may be confused. So Jujutsu Kaisen Zero was kind of a prequel. Well, it was a prequel to the events leading up to, to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. So if you haven't seen that, you might be a little confused. Not the end of the world, because he really wasn't an integral, integral part of the season at all. Just kind of comes in here at the last minute, uh, explaining what he plans on doing. Um... And if you ha and probably very going to be a, an important character in season three. So if you haven't watched Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, go watch it, and then you will understand uh, what is going on here. Um, he was talking about like, okay, so he's like, so you can see it. Um, apparently, even after all of that, uh, Rika is still attached to him. I am confused a little bit with that because I thought he let her go so he no longer had access to her um but apparently he still does because Rika just kind of exploded that curse all over the building <laughs> as you can see there um so let's see here set back to the children yeah oh by the way also I, I forgot to mention that Ghetto has been making this plan for like a thousand years at this point so he he's you know, basically put seals or curses on like a thousand different people over time, made vows with them, um, and there's probably some sort of reincarnation thing going on as well in there, but uh, who the heck knows? I, I am very confused with the plan here. Obviously, the plan it has to do something with Tengen, um, releasing Tengen possibly, uh, being that his vessel uh, got destroyed. Um, he's going to have a hard time maintaining himself. So Tengen might fully be released, and who knows what happens. I, I think that's that's the ghetto plan. Um, at least that's what it seems like it's going to be. <laughs> My best guess. So uh, Yuta is, I'm assuming, in Jujutsu High School at this point as well, talking about how he's like on their side. I'm doing what you say, obviously. Killing her spirits. They're like, oh, that doesn't prove anything. Um, and he's like, I will kill Yuji Itadori myself. So Yuta is going to go after Itadori. Um, and the reason is, let's see, I think he says the reason here too. Yeah, so in Inumaki's arm, basically Sakuna cut off Salmon Guy's arm um, in Shibuya. So, you know, he hurt his friend, so he is going to go do that. So it has been confirmed uh, that Ghetto is still alive. So the death penalty is reiterated. Um, he will be, Gojo is permanently expelled from the realm of sorcery. Do not, uh, uh, basically do not get him out of the prison realm because he's been sealed. Um, then we have the principal here, uh, is sentenced to death as well because of this review incident, basically because, you know, he thought it was, he was the one that put the motion in plan for Gojo to take care of it. Uh, the, and then the execution of Itadori uh, should be carried out promptly. So basically they're saying, uh, don't, kill Ghetto, leave Gojo sealed, kill the principal, kill Itadori. So that, that, that is what has happened because of the actions of Gojo at this point in time. Um, I mean, Itadori was always supposed to get executed anyway until he absorbed all of the fingers. Uh, but at this point, I think he's got to have like 13 or 14. So you're talking there's like maybe six finger, fingers um, left out and about in the world, but, uh, he has absorbed the majority of them. Uh, and then we kind of end here with, um, Itadori, what I'm assuming is just killing curses. Uh, you see his, his face is really scarred up and he gives, he gives a cat, a clap like Toto. So I'm wondering if he is going to soon be able to do Toto's technique. But, uh, you know, we end with a cursed spirit coming out of the water, or several of them, uh, 
at him. So episode 47 should be instant and close. And then that's the season right there. Um, I can't, as I said, I apologize. I can't remember the yellow girl. Let's see here if we can just uh, get Itadori clapping here. That may be the... Uh, That may be YMCA. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it looks like he's doing there. Um, but uh, overall, I would give this episode like a 7 out of 10 because I am confused. We didn't really get what is Ghetto's master plan. Obviously, it has. He, he said he wanted Jogo too, so I guess he wanted to also absorb Jogo and take his powers. Um, that, unfortunately... Did not happen for him, but he got Mojito. He used Mojito's powers, and now he can't use Mojito's powers ever again. Uh, and obviously, uh, we're going to have Utah going after Itadori, probably the principal as well, and pro probably Ghetto as well, but primarily Itadori because of what he did to uh, Salmon, <laughs> to cause Sa Salmon Guy, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, I'm sure that that's gonna, not going to be a problem. I doubt he's going to end up killing him whatsoever. But uh, I don't understand Ghetto's plan. Like, what, what is the point of all of this? Because obviously Ghetto isn't Ghetto anymore. He is whatever the heck brain thing is inhibiting him. You know, he's he's not... He was, at one point, that guy from 150 years ago from the Zenon clan. But uh, that's not who this, this entity actually is. Is it a cursed spirit? Is it a human that was able to transform themselves into a cursed spirit or something? Uh, who, who the heck knows at this point? We, we have no idea what the heck is going on with there, and I guess the Tengen stuff is start kind of makes sense now, because I was confused when I introduced all that too, but now that makes sense, because we needed that background for what is happening right now, but um, I don't understand what the master plan is here, um, I don't understand kind of the full point of anything, and that is why I am giving it a 7 out of 10, because of just general confusion. Um, I'm sure it'll get resolved, but I'm going to sit here <laughs> being confused, and maybe I'm going to read up on the wiki what happens in the future and, and spoil myself a little bit because, I, you know, you're talking six months to a year until season three probably comes out. Uh, or maybe we'll get another movie or something in the meantime, but uh, who the heck knows? Other than that, you know, the Jujutsu Kaisen season two done over with. That's all she wrote. Uh, I got to see if I can find some other stuff to review because I am now a lot of shows. It's been a while since I've been out of shows, but I, I'm out of them again, so I got to find some other shows to review. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And as always, have a good one.